Hey there Anons! I just came back from a routine lunar scouting mission, and if you've got 5 spare minutes I really think you should hear about this token I spotted on a direct trajectory to the Sea of Tranquility, yes. The big fucking crater on the moon. Geez, for being such smart people you Dajans can be really dumb sometimes. So here's the what makes it so innovative, assuming I'm not misunderstanding anything. Maybe I shouldn't call you Dajans dumb. I don't know how you read these frigging white papers on a regular basis. Anyway, Down sits at the intersection of DAOs, DeFi, social tokens, and NFTs, wow that's a LOT. An emblem finance vault, holding an ever-expanding index of tokens, native coins and NFTs from multiple blockchains, has been fractionalized on the fractional.art platform creating down as an ERC-20 representing proportional ownership of the down vault NFT, and therefore all of its contents. Initially, there are 10 million tokens, with a 1% annual inflation rate, subject to halvings by DAO consensus. As long as the NFT remains in the down contract, none of its contents can be traded, sold, or otherwise moved from within the vault. To access the contents, someone would need to complete a buyout auction of the NFT on the fractional.art platform, with the reserve currency set at 500 Ether. And if such a buyout happens, the down tokens can all be redeemed and burned for their proportional share of ETH. An important distinction though, while it can't directly be interacted for the sake of gains and such, underscore the nature of public-private haze means anyone, at any time, can contribute almost any asset to the vault, increasing its value. To confirm that this would be a valid concept initially, after creating down, 1 million or 10% of the soft cap supply were deposited into the down vault. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. My crew who are still on the moon just radioed in that they are under assault by what looks like horribly mutated children sized Neil Armstrongs. Armstrong Lions. I'm coming guys, don't give an inch to those alien astronaut love child freaks. Take over for me would you man in yellow hat. Wait, what the f? Where's your yellow hat? Thanks Susan, and I will tell you where it is. It's at the cleaners, because it got pretty gross in there, when I read the down white paper and it blew my friggin mind. Oh but poor Georgie. He tried to understand, but he couldn't handle it. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but if broke the monkey's psyche. But I will mourn for George later, besides, he is still alive. Just a little but schizo. Since the down vault can receive deposits without limit, and on nearly any network at that, doesn't that mean that we can all finally do something beneficial with our token dust? Right? If I have $4 worth of uni, and it costs 8 for fees to trade on a DEX, I'm better just spending the $1 or $2 for a P2P transfer which would actually increase the backed value of another of my bags. This is wild. So, theoretically, if a few people start sending their dust to the vault, then it pumps everyone's bags and draws attention to the mechanic and then more people dump their dust into it as well. Holy goat balls. No wonder your little monkey mind is in tatters, George. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming. Someone explain this next part. I can feel my brain melting just from trying to read my friggin' cue cards. So the general finally cracked, eh? You were a worthy opponent, CG, and a noble one at that. But ha ha. Take that, you conniving monkey cuck. Can't melt my brain with your freaky crypto witch, Dr. Juju. Now can ya? No sir, cause I'm just like that one guy. You know the one, he hangs out with Thor and he's a rock or some shit. Whatever. Hey, can I get a visual aid here please? Aha. Thanks. By Plato's mistress, you couldn't do any better. Did your toddler draw this? Actually, if a toddler understands all this enough to know what to draw, you might have a future global tyrant on your teat. Gee, gee. What the hell was I saying? Right, cue cards. 
In addition to the perpetually growing value of the underlying assets and speculative value provided by a standard social token, DAO is also able to be staked to gain governance rights in the DAO DAO. Enables exclusive access to various media channels by Brewster Goose, is being strategized for online gaming tournaments and... What does that say? You spelled hold wrong you idiot. Hodl to win contests and merch, plus more integrations and utilities pending announcement. Brutus, do you know you literally forgot the most important possible aspect of down? Quit gloating and do your job. So folks, if you haven't put this bit together yet here it is. Let's say the contents of the down vault are worth a total $1,000. Man without yellow hat deposits a $100 NFT, increasing the value to $1,100. So therefore, the vault is worth $1,100, and the tokens are backed at $1,100. Well, now the vault's down is worth 110, making the vault's value 1210, and I'm not so good with figures but you get it, hypothetically, and maybe, factually, if the vault value is synced to the token value by oracles, every new deposit creates a new. I don't actually know what it's called, um, the value of the deposit is infinitely compounded by the one-tenth power. HHHMMMM. It's a positive feedback loop of price pressure or some kind of witchcraft like Brutus said. This token is now the ultimate power in the galaxy, ha ha. Okay, okay, I'm headed out, I just popped in because I heard you all talking about the down vault while I was on my way to finally get my hands on some psychosis tenderized monkey brain, it's a delicacy you know.